Hey, too, but then I'm straight looking back to Banjo because we walked through. Last episode, well, this part's the oven. Last episode, we completed shift. I almost said shifting sandlands again. Uh, Gobi's Valley. Much faster than Freeze Easy Beak. This episode, this one's gonna be. This is where things are gonna start getting long. I'm gonna record the entire episode, the entire thing in one go, obviously. But there's a chance the episodes might get split into parts. Hello, Blue Pot. Yeah, but there's a chance that the parts, these episodes, will be split into parts. That's how you can get up there as well. Forgot to mention that. So yeah, these episodes are more than likely to be split into two parts, depending on how long they are, we will see. So first we're going to head this way, because, well, we haven't unlocked the next level yet, duh, and the, that picture is this way. I guess I could show you around a little. Got you, the way we're going, and there's a whole thing up there, but we can't get up there yet. So, let's move. But I want to try to keep the episodes to like 30 minutes. I don't really want the episodes to go super long. I know Freeze Easy Peak was like 40 odd minutes, but if I would have split that around the half hour point, that would have made like almost 30 minutes to like only around 10 minutes. So, wouldn't have been worth it. So I'll leave that one as a full one, but any episode that goes like 50 minutes and above are going to be split. Two equal chunks. The way how I'll do it is I'll have like the to be continued or or something appear at like to say the bottom right of the screen or something. That it'll be there for about 10 seconds so that way then you know the episode's about to end. Even like 5 or 10 seconds. 5 might be better. Yeah, about five seconds. Five seconds on the screen so you know the episode's about to end. And I'm about to get nobbed. Ah, screw you. Now we're just gonna work our way up here. Ah. I don't wanna get nobbed again. I don't know why I'm saying nobbed, as in like, nom nom nom. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. When am I not? And here's our level portrait. Mad Monster Munchin! <coughs> this level's not hard, but it is kind of long because you've got to travel around a pretty big area. Grab this mumbo token, 25. And this level as well, it does contain a transformation. I hope I've grabbed enough tokens. Okay, I won't lie. The final level, Click Clock Wood, where I've already shown the painting off. That one requires 20, also has a transformation. Final World has a transformation, and that one requires 25. Hmm. I don't think I've missed any tokens. I guess we'll see how things go. I think this one might require... To the one in Mad Monster Mansion might, I think, requires 20. Goes up by five each transformation, I believe. Hmm. I guess that means I gotta find 20 more tokens. Now, Mad Monster Mansion is back through this place where we ended up. Wait a minute. Is, no. Where we ended up unlocking Gobi's Valley. Let's just get to it. Careful here because you can fall off. But there is one thing I'll show. There's this path here that is very precarious. There's a hole on the other side for another Cheeto page, but we need the transformation from Mad Master's Mansion to get it. I kind of feel like there is a Bruntilda here in this graveyard. I could be wrong. And honestly, more than likely I am. But I just want to look. Oh! I was right! Okay, I remembered that correctly. Yay. I, I want to do something before we enter. And I hope it stays. 
You need the transformation to go through there as well. So don't enter the world without doing this. Otherwise you'll have to ex you'll end up exiting the world as the pumpkin form. And then you'll end up realizing what's what. Then I have to go back in, then come back out, then go back in. It's just the whole thing. Mad Monster Mansion! Spooky level! Yeah, this one's not that hard, but it has some puzzles that can be a little tricky at times. So, we're gonna start off going this way. These skeletons, just like the mummies, are invincible. Well, yeah, basically, they're immortal. But, stay out of that water. The invincibility will... Your, the Wonder Wing can kill them. Wow, I cannot talk. Uh, uh, it's gotta be from the other side. Nope. Oh, wait. Thanks for the token! I need as many of those as I can get my fairy paws on. Now, there was something else back there, but we can't really deal with it just yet. So, we're going to ignore it. But, we are gonna go in here. Bony versions of those, well, essentially undead versions of those weird little pod things. This is just a little extras, get some eggs, get some health if you need it. Nothing else really in there, but I'm going to show everything regardless, so... Mwah. Let's break this open. Now, remember that thing before in past episodes that said something about, um, Wonder Wing! About, uh, the cheat pages that, all well, the cheat codes that let you, um, unlock secret eggs or whatnot? Well, one of them is technically in here. I forget which one of these, it's one of these that doesn't open, I believe. We got the cheat, cheat gay! Fast and easy, and another mumbo token. Uh, oh, got some notes. I thought it was feathers up here. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. What? Okay, it's, it's gotta be this one with the X then. Uh, there's a code that will open that up, but again, it's a, once again the 360 version only that has the codes, I'm afraid. At least, I'm pretty sure, because this is a port directly from the Nintendo 64 from Nintendo, so I don't know if the codes exist in this version. Okay, with that open, we're going to take care of something else before we go too far, because there's no back and forth between this. So the other thing that I didn't do back here is up this way is a switch. And as you can tell by the running shoes, we gotta go fast. But that's why I had to open up that gate, otherwise you would definitely not have the time to do this. In fact, I think I might have hesitated, so I think we're as good as failed, but I'm gonna get up there! Ah! Oh, camera! God, that was close. Damn camera. I don't think... No, there's no notes on the chair, so I'm going to ignore the ghosts. But there are notes here, because we've got to climb up. They're just... That's just a hive. The other side? More hive. Okay, plenty of health. So, let's work our way up here for our first, well, technically second puzzle. Man, they're giving me tokens up the wazoo. Or the kazoo. Ha, <laughs> kazooey. Hello. Mozart's above. I essentially just got to copy him. I lost, I lost what he was saying, so I just, get, I just gave up. Let's see. This one. Yeah. I think this is, I forget if this is um, predetermined. If this is predetermined, technically you could just memorize this and then 
basically just do it. But I'm not sure if it is. It could be random through different seeds or something, but that's just one of the things never really understood. Time for another tune. I thought I missed it then. Sorry, I'm not talking. I am focusing. What? Wait, that's the one you hit! What? what? I must go before we... Okay, I'm gonna have to see that in editing. Did the game freak out on me? Maybe don't go ahead? I don't know. What happened? He seems to be doing the same note, so maybe this is predetermined. Yeah, maybe you gotta do it after him, and that's why it didn't count. I don't know. I'm very confused. I don't remember having that issue. Ugh. Your musical skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine! <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. I must have gone too fast or something, so the game didn't really register. Oh well, whatever. Let's, uh, if you go behind this, you'll find an extra life. Flexi Banjo! What? Oh, for the love of... Oh, for the double love of... Camera! Camera! You know what? For some reason I can't control Kazooie today. Eat that piece. Okay, now I know there... Oh, is it over there? Yes, it is. A fly pad. Up, up, and away! So now we're going to want to fly our way up here. There are two things up here. A honeycomb. Okay, three things. Mumbo token. And a grunty switch. Perfect. The jewel of our eye, I see. Now, just got to be careful not to fall, because falling from here, I do believe, is instant death. Unless you glitch. And I'm gonna glitch. Nope! How do you glitch? Not like that. Holy crap, I'm alive! How am I alive? I kinda wanna show the glitch. I cannot believe I messed that up. I couldn't see. I'll see you guys back up there. This is a waste of time, but I don't care. That hurt my gamer's pride. <laughs> That's for the pain. Now, careful where you do this, and then ground pound, but just fall. It's that easy. Okay, I'm getting out of this place. It's cursed. There's the piano, and then that. I hate this place. Ah! Okay, good. Close that door and never be opened again. At least until my next playthrough. <laughs> Next up, well, uh, it's you. There's a mumbo token. We're gonna go in here for our next puzzle. We must do what we did in the sand castle. We must spell our name. It's weird that we gotta do this more than once, but I suppose the puzzle is different. B. A. Well, okay, there is a difference. You can't see it, so there's no short... There's no cheating. Uh, where's N? N. Need a J. Need a J. 
Then, oh, I am so close to death. Damn it. Now, Kazooie? K K K K K K K K K K K A today. There is A A A A A. A. Z. Ah, I'm gonna die. I actually kind of forgot where I was letter-wise. It's double O I E, and I think the other O is over here. Don't hit the Grunties. Okay, I'm just gonna wait, because that ghost is not far. Ugh. I'm gonna die! Please save me! Okay, I need some health. I don't want to die, thanks. Nope. Not worth it. Oh, wait. Health. Health. I just remembered. Give me health. It's just the one. Oh, boy. Well, I'm in trouble. Potentiality. Okay, so we got ourselves another Mumbo Token there as well as Nudes. Now just land. Okay, you need to quickly get onto Kazooie to do the Talon Trot. There we go. Oh, come on! Thank you. Can I hit this way? Oh god, you're gonna be annoying. Fall to pieces, will ya? We're gonna open up this gate. I don't think we really need to, but... That was weird. Let's head to the graveyard. Again? Ugh, fine. I have virtually no gold feathers. But at least I'm alive. <laughs> work our way through this grave. Now this thing is weird. Thank you. It says thank you in a creepy way but for the longest time and I'm not the only one who's ever heard this it sounds like it says fuck you. <laughs> thank you. I heard it that time. <laughs> and anybody who didn't think they heard it before well you do now. You probably are hearing it now, and is hating me for it. Thank you. Here, come, oh, come. Do not grab. Let's poop in this pot. Thank Should you. just be one more. Rest in peace, you rest in peace, stone slab. Done. And next up, ooh, that's an interesting one, Mario! <laughs> Grab the gold and feathers. This is just another one of those uh, collect, like, good rooms where you can get some health and, s and some supplies. Nothing really of absolute point in there, but it could be useful if you really need it. Fucking bloodsucker. Wait, is that how you- Oh my god, seriously. Shut up. Let's work our way through the maze. The maze can be a pain because of these ghosts. There are ghosts all over the place that will get you, and they can go for the walls. And the only way to kill them is with the Wonder Wing. And I don't have very many gold feathers left, so I need to try to avoid that. Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna have to take the damage, otherwise I'm gonna run out of golden feathers. 
I got red feathers. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna run out of gold feathers today. Hooray! I'm gonna have to grind up some gold feathers off screen. Uh, another mumbo. I don't know if I really need the mumbo to uh, the uh, gold feathers for the next level after this. Everybody who's playing this game know this next level. Well, knows this next level, not know knows this next the, ne the level after this one. And it's one of the most dreaded levels that anybody who's ever played Magic Kazooie knows about. The nose knows knows. Okay, that should be everything in the maze. So, next up, you might have seen it. It's Mumbo Time! Yeah, yeah, Mumbo Time, Mumbo Time. Anything behind? A gold feather, I'll take it. Here they go. Uh, got some notes down below. Golden feather. Just one golden feather up above. Oh well. Every golden feather I can get is really useful. Since I'm not doing the upgrades, it's kind of hard to keep hold of the right numbers. Alright, time to become soup. Pumpkin soup! Speaking of which... Ah, Mumbo Prout of Pumpkin Spell. Make good soup. That was a reason for my joke. Boing, 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 boing. Now, the pumpkin actually is immune to most damage except for, like, actual enemy attacks. But there are stuff like the top of the hedges. You can go on the those hedges over there, like when we was over there to jump up to the shed. You can go on the hedges, but they are thorn bushes, so it will hurt you. Now, hopefully I don't need Banjo and Kazooie for what I'm trying to do, so I'm hoping to save a little bit of time doing it this way. Oh crap, you do. Oh, well, I'll see you in a sec. Hi, Joe! Kazooie! Alright, we are back as Bear and Bird. Just try not to fall off. Me. Let's grab these notes. And now... Big jump! Yay! For a jiggy. And now that I think about it, I'm an idiot. I still need to stay as Banjo and Kazooie. AKA Bet a Bird. Oh, for the love of. Yeah, I need to stay as Banjo and Kazooie for a bit longer. What we're gonna do is climb. Because we do need to be the pumpkin inside some of these rooms, I believe. But, the pumpkin cannot open the windows. Ah, this room. Do that. We need the pumpkin for this one to get this honeycomb. We already collected a honeycomb, didn't we? Yeah, 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 we did. We did inside the church. That just shows my memory for you. No good. With that one, we'll work our sway around. Ah, sway around. Hold on, note. Oof. Alright. We also need the pumpkin for this to go down. There is a jiggy through that pipe. But you can go into the area where that Jiggy is as Banjo-Kazooie, but you cannot get the Jiggy. Ah, yes. Gurgle, bear is too fat. Too much fat is to fit in Logos' mouth. Logos? Lugos? I forget. Oh, we just went in the toilet. Let's have a bath. Oh no, there's a barrier! Well, I guess I can't have a bath. Bye! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like that sometimes in real life. <laughs> Blood sucker! Well, that's as far as I need to go as the pumpkin, but let's take care of the other stuff 
this way. Not that one, so it's you. It would be the one that I need this shop guy, wouldn't it? Hello, Ginger. Only the green one left. I think I remember where it is as well. Uh, sounded like there was a second one. Uh, was there anything else? Nope. That appears to be all of it, so we're out. The banjo cause How about that? There it is. We'll get you in a sec. Right now. Now this hole you can see right beside us, it's a perfect fit for the pumpkin. The pumpkin can get down this hole, but you cannot get the pumpkin up here. So it's a trick. I want to say Nintendo tricked us, but no, the Rare made this game, not Nintendo. Nintendo just published it. <laughs> Ass. Whoa, what the hell just happened to me? Yeah, 70. But I thought I got all the notes up here. Apparently not. Thank you. Now let's shock pad ourselves up. And don't mess this up. Now we got ourselves a mumbo token here. Sometimes I can get that without getting burnt, and most of the times I can I cannot get it without being burnt. Now, you do not want to touch the floor. It creaks and it will wake up this ghost. Do it like that and you're fine. Grunty's gold, how it's shown. She will be mad now it's gone. Now that it's gone. Yes, I'm mad. My boots I'll put up your useless sabuki butt. Now, I hope I remember incorrectly, and that should be the last jiggy that I need to get as Banjo and Kazooie. The last three are all gained via being the pumpkin. Now, there's not really anything else in here, except if I up, you'll find uh, an extra life, and there are some eggs. Right then. I'll see you guys back at Mumbo's Skull. Or, sh yeah, as I'm coming out as the pumpkin. Best way to open doors. Alright, now, the way how I normally get to where we're about to go is the most convoluted way that sometimes I fail. The way I normally get about to go as go is climb up there and jump off to land around there to get onto the second floor of the house. But believe it or not guys, I'm still learning this game somehow after all these years and realized you there's a there's a hole right here. There's a there's a hole right here. I hate myself. In fact, I hate myself so much, I'm going to show you exactly what I've done for over for probably 20 years. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'll see you at the top of the clock tower. Ah. Okay, the way I normally do this, find my angle, which is right down there, and then I just jump. Eee! Blip. That's how I would always do it, and sometimes I would fail. And not once did I ever notice there was a hole right here. I hate myself. <laughs> hey, I learned something new, I guess. Somehow, I'm still learning this game. I wonder how many people face palmed uh, who were who were watching this video. How many of you face palmed and already knew about that hole? Because uh, I know I'm face palming at myself right now. At least inside my head. I can't physically because I gotta hold the controller. My brand new Zelda controller. Yay. I've never bought controllers that are like customized or whatnot, like fancy ones. I always just buy the defaults because it's not like you're looking at the controller, you're looking at the screen. I just figured just this once, I will. I needed a new controller anyway. Happy landings, little one. 
Any more toilet paper? Hey, I can go to another YouTuber. Nintendo Capri Sun! Oh my god, living enemies! Give me all this. I think there's a Mumbo token here? There is not. Okay. Let's get out of this shit. I can't believe you went in there! Now wash your hands, you filthy bear! Okay, I know she doesn't say, you filthy bear, but that fits better than, now wash your hands, filthy bear. I think you, you filthy bear sounds much better. <laughs> That's all of the windows, so next up is down this hole. I oh, down another hole to go! Da -da 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 only one jiggy left and 15 notes. But yeah, you can get in here as Banjo Kazooie. I do. Actually, no, you can't. But it's a trick regardless, because you have to go from above in order to get it. Now, hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything. I'm going the wrong way. And everything else is in this last area. I get the feeling I have forgotten something, so I'm probably going to scream in a bit. Wrong way! We are going this way. Uh, it's a pumpkin. I got no stomach, but I want it anyway. Okay, there's boots, eggs, and notes. Can I reach? Yes! Thank goodness! I don't need no more gold feathers, actually. I'm full. Yay! Oh, come on. Eleven more. Now, what we're going to want to do is go from the top. There is a hole at the bottom, but that's how we get out. Instead, we're going for the top! Hold on. Am I remembering this right? Okay, there's nothing on the rope. I don't know why, but I remember climbing that rope for some reason. Either way. Boop. Last jiggy. Mumbo! Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, I th oh no, I might remember where these things are. Guys, I will see you guys back in the church. I think I'm an idiot. Scratch that. I am an idiot. Alright, let's see if I was right or wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm cutting this out. If I'm right, it's in. Oh my god, I was right. I only saw the eggs. Damn it. Uh, I didn't even click up. I clicked left. But wait, that's... Oh, I need... No, 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 no. I'm right, I'm right. This is the right number. Fucking hell, man. Oh, camera! It's the last note, so we're done, but I must become the pumpkin again! Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot imagine playing any of the N64 game after this for a little while. I watch you guys now vote to want to have like Conker's Bad Fur Day to be played next. I know I played Conker's Bad Fur Day in one of my old uh, before, but I ended up deleting it from my channel. I, let's just say I was in a very unhappy place in my mind on that one. For anybody who is here from when I did actually do that series on my channel. Uh, let me just check for you the totals real quick. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Nope, got everything, but I have forgotten the fact that I needed to be a pumpkin! Um, from, if any of you guys are here back from when I did do Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh... Towards the end of the series, I was getting a little stressed, but I kept it to myself. But then, I ended up having an issue with the with the uh, the recordings that I lost, like half the footage uh, of the like last two episodes got virtually corrupted, as well as audio problems. 
I, I managed my best for a while, but to the point that, like, the final two episodes literally didn't, couldn't be worked. Which, and this game doesn't have save files the way I remember them being. To the point that I couldn't finish it, technically. I beat the game blind for the first time, technically by myself, while recording it for no one to ever see. Uh, but because of that, I got so frustrated that I just felt in my head that I couldn't leave that project unfinished on my channel like that. Pumpkin squash anyone? That, um, I just deleted the whole thing from my channel. That is essentially where my mind was. Uh, if you guys ever want me to redo that on my channel, I will think about it. I say think about it because I don't know if I have any way to actually record my Nintendo 64. I'm really hoping they bring Conker's Bad Fur Day to the uh, Switch, but something tells me they're not going to because of the age-rated content. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mumbo! Okay, you two, uh... Whoa, what is happening to me? I mean, I really did become a pumpkin squash. Ah. Now I'm Bando Squash! Anything behind you? Yep, a token. Like this. Hmm? Make me waste free feathers on you. Now, you need this in order to access... This. Now, there are two... There is, like, two other switches like this. But these switches are permanent, so I'm alright showing this now. Now for... We're going to... I'm going to show you two more things. Across that lava walkway, which will uh, show you the Cheeto page and something else. And then of course, we got a Jiggy that was unlocked for the Grunty Switch. So, I'll see you out of this graveyard. Okay, we are out of the graveyard. Now, this bit's a little bit tricky because, well, for one, camera can hates me, and it can get kind of dark, like so. So, gotta place this nice and carefully. Hey, it's a Bruntilda! Another Bruntilda location. Now, let's go through here. It's Cheeto! Cheeto, Bear, and Bird have found once more another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, that's Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witch is so. Uh, type in red feathers to double your red feathers. Yay! Okay, bye. Ah, uh, you know what? I can do. I can take this. I said I'll take this. Okay, I guess I'll take the other one. I'll see you guys back in that one room with the big grunty head where the Jiggy popped up. We've been there twice, three times, maybe four times at this point, so I'll see you there as Baron Bird. Because we're about to do something. We've had this joke for a while, but it's time to become Pumpkin Soup! You guys are the Wait, does Grunty just admit to wanting to slap Banjo's butt? His bear butt? Ha! Double joke. <laughs> okay. This area, we need to get to that eye. Best way to do that is to fly. I just rhymed and I didn't mean to. Um, you can go away. I think you can get it without flying, but I'm not... I don't remember how. Okay, here's hoping I don't fail this. Well, I failed it. I'll see you guys once I'm up in the air. I'm up in the air! Okay, now just fly. Big bomb the eye. And now we can get the jiggy. Oh, and that means we are done for this episode. Gulp. 
I'm gonna stop in front of the door that led us to the po the pi the picture of Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, so yes, that's what we'll do for this episode, guys. My God, this has been an awkward one. But this next level is everyone's worst nightmare. Stop talking about my butt! <laughs> Keeps talking about my butt. So that'll do. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all for the next episode for Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh...